Hello everyone and welcome to your reading. Today's message is going to be the current love energy and how your person is feeling about you and what's going on. So you're going to have three options. Uh, so please keep in mind that this is a general reading and maybe the message doesn't resonate with you. And if it doesn't, please pick another pile or choose another reading. So we're going to start with the options. Your first option is Peacock or Your second option is a Selenite. I think this is like an egg. The third option is an Amethyst. So I'll give you some time to choose and then we will begin. We're going to use the Romance Angels deck. And I'm mainly going to use that and the music cards and if i need to clarify anything i'll use the crystal visions tarot all right let's get started with group one okay so we're going to ask what's the current love energy First card is going to be your energy. Second card is going to be your person's energy. Third card is going to be the overall nature. Fourth card is the heart of the matter. Fifth card is hidden influences. Sixth card is the challenges in the relationship. Seventh card is advice, any advice spirit has for you. And the eighth card is the outcome. Okay, once again... You, them, the tone, we know all nature, heart of the matter, hidden influence for Paul, group one. Any challenges in the relationship, advice spirit has, and the outcome. group one which is the overall tone and nature of their person channeling that okay so how you're feeling right now that this is your soulmate you feel the instant connection the rush like you feel this great impact of energy like i don't know i, I hear the word impact like they just maybe that's how your heart feels like it's whatever they're doing it's very impactful to you it's like really touching your heart so you found like you found your soulmate and it's the car says yes this is your soulmate that's how you're feeling. Like, yes, this is the soulmate. Them, how they're feeling right now, the energy is kind of off. They're, it's flirting. They feel like, you know, they're not taking it serious. They're just having fun right now. They're flirting. So this is the current energy of how they're feeling about this. I'm trying to see if I can channel any more downloads. They're not taking this serious. They don't, they're, they're not getting down to the heart of the matter. I guess their heart is closed off when it comes to love. And they're just trying to have fun right now. So the tone and overall nature is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Maybe they're addicted to flirting. Hmm. I'll, I'll look further into the reading, but there's some sort of codependency that they have here. And this is the whole tone of the reading. 
So some type of codependency. And then that song that goes with the codependency is Can't Remember to Forget You by Shakira and Rihanna. I left a note on the bedpost, said not to repeat yesterday's mistakes. What I tend to do when it comes to you, I only see the good. Selective memory. The way he makes me feel, yeah, got a hold on me. So I'm channeling the song. It's, it's something about, I don't know if you, you have like an internet relationship with this person, but it almost feels like how you're making them feel right now. It's, they, they feel good. Whatever you're doing for them is making them feel good. However you're speaking to them is making them feel good. If this doesn't resonate, please choose another pile. But it just makes me feel like they're addicted to flirting with females, but they like the way you do it the best. And it, it, they're, they're addicted to it. And this is their, this is their uh, energy currently. They have a selective memory and they just, they can't remember to forget, to stop this addiction. They, they have to stop. Okay, so the heart of the matter is to release your ex. So there's something that they need to release that caused them pain. The time has come to clear your energy. They have to clear their energy. And that's like what's in their heart right now. There's something that they have to let go of. Something from the past they need to let go of. What is it that they need to let go of and release? Something that they're holding on to. This is like the bottom. Something they, what are they holding on to? Let's see, general reading. Hmm. They get bored very easily. So that's this is probably why they're flirting a lot. So they need to let go of this addiction of continuously flirting with people because they're bored. You know, it's like something that they just do because they're bored and it's like fun and exciting to them. Hmm. I don't know what to do with this card. Okay, so... Hidden influence is they have trust issues. This situation is calling for you to have faith, but since it's hidden, it's telling me that this is an issue for them. Trust is an issue for them. So it could be why that they, they go in and out of flirting when they're bored because they just don't trust they don't trust their feelings they don't trust love it's just fun like they're addicted to that that first feeling like the rush of this is fun the adrenaline of that the next card are the challenges in this relationship healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so what i'm feeling from this is since it's a challenge this is just an overall issue for them something affected them not necessarily has to be their parents or family issue but something affected them where they feel i guess to them they don't feel like it's causing harm, but it does cause harm. And it's something within them that they need to heal and let go of so they can stop hurting you. Because how you're feeling, you're all in. But they're just having fun, and that's not fair. 
The advice is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So it could even be, like how I said, like they're addicted to the way you make them feel. Like you make them feel the best out of maybe all the people or, you know, whatever that they're flirting with. So the advice and probably like the hidden influence because they have trust issues. They're not trusting their feelings. They're not trusting that maybe they do have romantic feelings for you. They're just kind of brushing it aside. Because the next card is... The outcome is the new love. And this is what they're probably trying to avoid because of their trust issues. So once they can work on healing, they can realize that they do have romantic feelings and then explore the new love with you. This feels like to me, just pulling the energy that this is going to take a while because they're so used to just having a good time right now so they're not ready to explore fully let me get one more card for the overall nature of the reading okay and the star came out the star to me she has two cups in her hand and she's pouring them in the water. So there are feelings and emotions here. The star, it's about communication. I keep seeing the internet. I keep feeling like this is an internet love. But you are the star. They just need to trust in themselves. So they, they need to trust in their feeling. So they can explore this new love with you. Because it's there, it's just they have all this other stuff to get rid of. The flirting and this codependency, whatever this codependency is. They need to release it. Okay, I hope that was helpful. hope that gave you some sort of clarity. Please like the video, subscribe. If you're subscribed, make sure you hit the little bell. And see you next time. Thank you. Okay, pile two. We're getting the overall energy of your person their current love energy so i'm gonna use the tarot to clarify if i need it but i'm just using the romance angels so we're gonna do the overall energy for pile one so the first card is going to be how they're feeling about the relationship second card is going to be how their person's feeling about the relationship the third card is going to be the tone and overall nature. Fourth card is going to be the heart of the matter. Fifth card is going to be hidden influence. Sixth card is going to be the challenges in the relationship. Seventh card is going to be advice. Eighth card is going to be the outcome. You, them, Tone, overall nature, heart of the matter, hidden influences, challenges, advice, and the outcome. One more time. Yes. feel the I already can see what's going on here so currently I can see that you two are in separation I have to get one more card let me get for pile two a soul
song card for them and their person, the tone, the tone and overall nature in a song, please. Spirit, universe, thank you guys. All right, well, that just flew out. So, how you're fe currently feeling right now is you've retreated, you've taken a step back. Something's going on here where you feel like you had to just pull your energy away. Kind of looks like she's in a wedding dress. Like they just got married and they're going on their honeymoon. It's funny because the honeymoon card is here. But you you walked away. Because that's, that's your current energy. So how they're feeling right now is they want to talk. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. They want you to hear them out. Something that they have to say to you. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That's what they want to do. They want to come clean about something and be honest with you. The tone and overall nature is the separation. And then this card flew out. It's hallucinations by division. Having hallucinations. I'm losing sleep every night. Keep trying to cover my eyes. My eyes, yeah. Is it my imagination? I think I'm losing my mind, yeah. Still see your face all the time, all the time. So they... They can't sleep and they feel like they see you everywhere that they go. So you must really have them like blocked or you're not answering their calls and they just, they're dreaming about you. They, they're hallucinating in this separation. This is kind of driving them a little bit up the wall. And in a way, the separation card, it looks like she's in a bed sleeping. And maybe she's even hallucinating that she sees him because there's like there's like fog and mist here. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> you watch me shuffle. <laughs> I didn't pick that out. That's kind of interesting. All right, so the heart of the matter is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. This is the, the heart of the matter. So this is what they want. They want the honeymoon with you. Oh, I said this is like the wedding. You know, because they look like they might be going to the honeymoon. And they want this back. They want to bring that love back and enjoy. So you must have had like this great relationship or feeling with each other. Maybe it's not a relationship, but you know, like this great time you were having together and you were getting to that honeymoon stage and they want that back so that's the heart that's what's in their heart right now the heart of the matter hidden influences unrequited love that's hidden influence there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so that's hidden so there's something that's not matching up here and maybe one of you or both of you don't see it but there's something that's unbalanced and causing the separation i say you you don't see it because it's like hidden so when i think of hidden if it's like a great card it's like in the reverse to me let me get a clarify on that Hidden influences. Hidden influence. Hmm, just clarify that for me. Please. Sun's on the bottom. Like I said, there was like there was this great time you had together, but there's something that's unbalanced. Hidden influences that you need to start again. The emotions are overflowing in this relationship. So maybe one person has more emotions for the other, and it's like that's the unbalance. Because I'm looking here at the cup 
and the water's kind of like dripping out. So there's a lot of emotion here that, that it's overflowing. I'll leave it there. So the next card should be the challenges in the relationship worth waiting for. So if that's a challenge, divine timing is at work in your love life. It's challenging right now to, to wait for this person. It's like it's a challenge to wait. So I don't know if it's a challenge for you to wait. Like you don't want to wait anymore. You've had enough. But it doesn't seem like it's them that it's a challenge to wait because it seems like they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you. You're the one who walked away. So that's the challenge is that you don't want to wait for them anymore. Maybe they messed up too many times. You're not seeing eye to eye is what I heard. So there's a problem with the communication. So one person is saying one thing, but the other person is hearing something different. That's what that's what I'm hearing. Download it right now. Okay, so the seventh card is advice. The advice is saying that, yes, this is your soulmate. That's the advice. The advice is saying, this person... And you can choose whatever you want to do. You know, we all have options in life. We all have roads and paths that we have to take on our own. But I think Spirit's trying to tell you that this person is your soulmate. And maybe deep down inside you already know that, but you just had enough right now. But Spirit wants you to know that this person, you two are meant to be together. And the outcome is reconciling. <laughs> reconciliation oh my god i didn't even see that i didn't even see it to just now i'm paying attention to all the other cards okay so someone from your past is returning to your life so you two will be able to reconcile even though you know all this stuff is going on so maybe finally you can see eye to eye and get down to the heart of the matter and go on this honeymoon i hope that was helpful Thank you so much, Pile 2. Please like, subscribe, share. Comment below, please. I want to hear how this, how this is going to go. How this resonated with you. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you, Pile 2. Pile three. Okay, so we're going to do the overall and current love energy. We're using Romance Angels. I'll use the Crystal Visions Tarot if I need to clarify. But your first card is going to be how you're feeling. Second card is going to be how your person is feeling. Third card is going to be the tone and overall nature fourth card is going to be the heart of the matter fifth card is going to be the hidden influences sixth card is going to be the challenges seventh card is going to be advice the outcome is the eighth card make the effort just jumped out current energy love energy you them True love, heart to heart conversation, you, them, tone, overall nature. You deserve love. Uh, attraction. Great. Great, great. I know you. <laughs> your person has a lot to say. They keep jumping out. I haven't had any jumping cards for the other piles. Um, all right, let me start over. You, them, Tone, overall nature, heart of the matter, hidden influences, challenges, advice, and outcome. Got it. Your person has a lot to say. Three. All right. Some of this 
same cards. We get a song card for the tone of this reading, the overall nature of this reading. Get a sound card, a music card. Just one, just one song. That's all I need. Again, this was the so same card for the second pile. Okay. So how you're feeling right now is you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You need to discuss something. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. This is how you're currently feeling. You're feeling like having a talk. Having a deep talk with them expressing how you feel hmm it feels like this pile is okay but I'm also feeling a little bit like there's something that's off a little bit and I'll, I'll get to the rest of the cards but that's just what I'm feeling right now like you want to talk about something that's very important how they're feeling right now is engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so they want to take it to the next level with you and maybe that's what you're feeling you feel like it's time and maybe they feel like it's time but they may maybe they're not expressing that and maybe you want to walk away because you feel like what's taking so long i don't know but they are feeling that they want to take the relationship to the next level so if you're talking, they may be thinking about being in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, they might be thinking about engagement. If you're engaged, they might be saying, okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's get married, like, now. So the tone and overall nature is you deserve love. Having hallucinations, I'm losing sleep every night. Keep trying to cover my eyes. My eyes, yeah. Is it my imagination? I think I'm losing my mind, yeah. Still see your face all the time, all the time, yeah. So this is a song about a breakup. But with the tone of this reading, I'm not feeling that it's a breakup here. Yeah, something might be a little bit off, but something, but more things are more right with this. And I don't feel like there's a separation. Maybe for some people there are. The song is by Division. I'm feeling like they're losing sleep because they're ready to take this relationship to a new level. And it's kind of making them feel like, am I really doing this? Is this the right thing? Like, that's what they're losing sleep over. So it's like a completely different tone from the second pile. Because with this card, you deserve love. The, the bow and arrow, they're aiming it towards you. They have their heart set on you. You are the target. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But, you know, you're, you're the one that they want. You're the one that they want to take to a higher level with. So that, that's why they're having hallucinations. Because it's just like, am I doing the right thing? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm doing this. And maybe they're seeing signs like, yes, this is the one like, you know, like signs wherever they go. That's telling them, yeah, you're on the right path to take this to a higher level. Heart of the matter is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So if that's the heart of the matter. This is what's in their heart. Healing family issues. Maybe you are helping them heal their family issues. And that's why they want to take it to the next level. You give them great advice. Mm, let me channel the card. Yeah. 
you give them great advice you're always there for them maybe if someone is a single parent you're there for their children there's something about you that's very healing for them and that's why they they want to move forward with you hidden influences so there this is where i feel like there's something off with this one religious factors your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path so this is hidden so there's something where this is the unbalance is that maybe you're from two different cultures different religions different beliefs different political like maybe politics is what i hear um there's there's something that's different and it's hidden like something that you're not discussing maybe like one person wants children the other person doesn't like th there's just something that's unbalanced here The sixth card is challenge, and the challenge is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Now I'm really going to have to channel this card. Maybe someone is celibate. And that's why it's a challenge. That they're not going to be ready to do anything until they reach this higher level of commitment there's something here like okay if this is a challenge then one person is into something that the other person may or may not be maybe there's something like they haven't openly discussed and they want they may be embarrassed to say, but there's there's something that's off, or maybe they flirt a little bit too heavy and it's making you uncomfortable when it comes to a challenge. Hold on. And maybe that's what the religious factor is. Like there's something that's different. Maybe one person <laughs> is into feet and the other person's like, Don't touch my feet. I do not like that. You know, like there's something that's off. <laughs> What is the, let's clarify, let's clarify the attraction. Why is that a challenge? Okay, yeah, it's something sexual. It's something sexual that it's a challenge for them. And maybe you know, <laughs> maybe there's something that I won't be able to pick up, but it's something that you know that is a challenge for them and it's something sexual with the strength card here so please comment below what that is <laughs> or maybe you don't want to maybe you keep it to yourself that's fine okay so seventh card is advice very soon clearly decide what you want so that it it comes to you now so if that's the advice you have to soon you have to make a choice someone has to make a choice here very soon advice I feel like it's clear enough but I want to clarify advice. This, the whatever this is that needs to be balanced very soon you have to clearly decide to make the choice of it so whatever it is that needs to be balanced that's what this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to be about and the outcome is to give your relationship a chance work on your partnership as the outcome so you too will be able to very soon have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation to balance out whatever it is that's affecting your love life in a negative way. You'll be able to do that soon. And 
be able to be happy with your partner okay i hope that was helpful i hope that was clear and you got some sort of clarity please like subscribe share and if you are subscribed hit the little bell so you'll receive uh, alert or notification all right thank you